Hello, this is Rabbi Abelgeiver, and today we are looking at the Effengro uh, EF957 uh, pocket knife. So this is a beautiful knife. It's <laughs> I wish I can get a better view of the handle view. It's got this nice concentric groove going through it. It's really comfortable. This knife comes in two colors, black and this jade green. It is a flipper with a nice smooth function. The action on this is really smooth, it's easy to close, easy to open. On the back here, it's a D2 steel, so it's not bad, right? A little dirty at the moment, but it's been used. It's got a tiny little pocket clip, it's comfortable enough to carry, it's just like this clip is hard to get your finger underneath, but it does fit just fine. Um, it does have a liner lock right here, which is smooth and comfortable to reach. So you could easily close with one hand, open with one hand with a flipper. It's got a little bit of jimping on the top. It even has some jimping right there at the bottom of the flipper. So if you're opening it up from this end, it gives you a little bit of grip on the end. So that's always nice, right? So the total length on this is uh, 8.19 inches. Uh, handle length is 4.57 inches. Um, the blade length is 3.62 inches. The blade width, well, they say that the, <laughs> the blade width is 1.02 inch, but I don't think so. Eh, it might be. I guess if they count at the very top of the ridge. Um, I don't have a measuring tool with me to check that right now. The blade thickness is 0 0.14 uh, inch, and it weighs just under 4 ounces, uh, 3.95 ounces or 112.1 grams. It's a really nice weight. It's well balanced. It's got a little you know, lanyard hole at the other end comfortable in the hand. With a little jimping on the back, it makes it a solid, solid knife. Now this is my first F and Grow, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, E-A-F-E-N-G-R-O-W. It's like A F and Grow. Uh, obviously it's made in China, uh, but it is what it is. It is a budget blade. Uh, the scales are G10. It's just, the scales are really comfortable on this. I don't know how to explain it any better. It's got this nice texture all the way through. Uh, the texture is not as noticeable on the black model as it is on this jade color one. You can see on the reflection on the inside of the steel liner that it is uh, skeletonized a little bit. Help keep the weight down. So that's good news, right? Um... Let's see if there's any other information on this. Um, you know, it's... I don't know what to say about this. This is just a comfortable knife. Um, so far, wear and tear, it's been really good. The mechanism is nice and smooth. I've paid more money on some blades that have worse action than this. This is smooth. It is a real surprise um, that this is... Uh, seems to be decent quality. No. I mean, it's it's not an auto assist at all. It's got, it's just so fluid. I don't see anything like a nylon spacer, so it's probably bearings. Yeah, I don't see any spacers on there. It doesn't tell me any information. But the way this just flips out, it feels like it's on bearings. But uh, that's it. So it's the F and Grow EF957 flipper with pocket clip, T2 and uh, D2 steel and G10 scales. And uh, that's about it. Uh, in the description below will be a link to Amazon where you can find this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. And um, Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.
So thank you for watching, and well, I don't, I do not get bored of that at all. Have a wonderful day.